Hi guys, thanks for joining me, Megan Benanti, and this is Rise and Shine, where we look at your soul's evolution. And what I mean by that is that we're always on our journey. And so if you're finding this video, it is designed to help you to really evolve and grow in this life, even if it's a generalized reading. Um, you know, I'm trying to pick questions that dig deep for people and really touch on an area where they can grow with enlightenment and not just be about, well, my boyfriend and I, or, and I are in a fight, let's fix it. There's all kinds of relationships we have. And, um, you know, the biggest part and of what we're supposed to do here is to heal us and to um, be the most evolved soul that we can be. And so that's really what I'm trying to guide for you all here is just give you some information that can help you on that path. So um, today's question, let's take a look at that. How do I improve my life? So nice and basic, but hey, that's something we're always working on. Even if we're in a good place, we're always looking on how we can improve it. So let's see what our three charms today are gonna be. One is just screaming at me. Oh, Isis, okay. And um, it, she just wanted to be picked. And the stethoscope. And let's try to get hopefully something we don't normally get. Um, Oh, I've never gotten it before. It's a sofa, and it is a love seat sofa. So it's seating for two with curly scrolled arms. That's how our sofas looked back in the um, 80s and 90s. Um, okay, so you are gonna choose Isis, the step stethoscope, um, not good for lispers, and, uh, or the sofa, and then that reading will apply for you today. I'm gonna read for Isis first, and she has the onk and the wings, so she is all spread out. She is our Egyptian goddess. Um, she was the maternal goddess at the time, but so she really held a lot of the aspects of all the feminine divine. Um, whereas in Greek and Roman mythology, they were all kind of divided up, but in Egyptian or Egyptology, it's all sort of interconnected together. Um, okay, so let's see what we've got. Okay, so what the first thing I, I'm looking at like kind of what you need to work on and you know as a primary and as a secondary here and we're looking at nine of wands um, and what I want you to consider here is you need to work on being more prepared. This is kind of one of your things in life that's like getting organized and staying on top of it and not falling back into that uh, crutch of being lazy or oversleeping. I just, I feel like you need to really focus on developing your organizational skills, better punctuality, time management, calendars, um, and probably cleaning up. So if you're falling into that sort of messy disarray, and you know, you look at your room, it's messy, but what's going on in your brain? Is it really that different? Now I get this, I'm not a linear thinker, but I have trained myself in the ways that I need to be linear so that I can function for other people. Um, generally my ideas are like, woo, 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 you know, squirrel. <laughs> um, and so, but I, I've had to adapt to make myself work in society. And so for you, this is a primary issue of kind of getting evolved and organized in that. And thinking about that too, you're trying to come into your goddess element. I don't even care if you're a dude. We have masculine and feminine energy. And so this is massive growth for you and you coming into your own power. And how beautiful is that? What a great opportunity to learn and grow. Um, Okay, now the other thing that it, your secondary issue, yep, it, it's not getting things done. It's not having follow through. Sometimes it's gonna be being late. Um, we've got chariot in reverse. Um, and I really want you to focus on, it, you need to be a little more individual about it. You can't be crutching on other people so much or leaning on other people to pick you up. This is you coming forward and and seeing what the goal is that you want and going for it. I feel like you've got some hesitancy about maybe what you feel you're capable of or what you can achieve. And right now that is a limiting belief system for you. Um, 
And I want you to really think about that. Um, what happens if you step beyond that barrier? If it's a job that you're like, well, I don't, you know, they'll never give me that. Um, so what do you need to do to, for them to give you that? You know, what are the extra steps you need to take? I want you to begin to break down that belief system. And yeah, it can be as automatic as awareness, but a lot of times it takes us taking in some extra training or learning some new things, pushing our brains farther to expand more, think differently. Um, and so you've got this kind of stuck energy here and I feel like you get yourself stuck in a rut too often. Um, and you know, some of this actually feels a little bit depressive to me. So, and you know, we think about it. Um, we can surround ourselves with uh, positive quotes and self-help, but our self-talk is pretty pretty negative overall. Um, we all have those little voices going, oh, you don't wanna do that. Oh, you're not capable of that. Oh, don't even bother doing that. That's gonna take way too much effort and you know you're not skilled and um, what are you thinking? You know, I mean, we have all this negative little voices going, ugh. And so I, I feel like this is time for you to begin to shed some of that. And again, if you're gonna be your natural goddess, the person that you're supposed to be, you're gonna have to have some really massive breakthroughs. So I want you to think about how you might start stepping out of that, um, that belief system. Okay, so now how do you put your good strengths to use? And that's interesting, we have King of Swords. And um, so this is the power of the mind, your thoughts and ideas. It might also be a really positive influence for you and I want you to acknowledge and consider this person in your life. Um, if this is you yourself and moving into this leadership role, um, because I do feel like you know how to be in charge, um, you know how to take control, um, it's just that you need to be really comfortable in applying that to other areas of your life because I feel like you maybe focus that in just one area and then you feel like maybe not as strong in other ones. And that's okay. We call that fake it till you make it. <laughs> you know, it's a really real thing. So let's just apply that here. Um, now, I also wanted to know if there were any outside influences that you can look to for help. And sure enough, Six of Pentacles generosity. There is influences, unbounded influences around you that you can tap into. So this might be resources of people. This might be resources of podcasts, self-help books, um, spiritual thinking books. Um, maybe it's looking more at education. Um, you know, but I feel like there are people and um, opportunities just unbounded around you for you to tap into. Um, you know, maybe it's, um, you know, reading a book on being organized. Um, you know, there's all those, uh, there's so much out there. So I, I feel like you've got this around you. You just aren't really, really uh, utilizing those resources at this time. But if you found this RIP video, then it is your time. It is time to do this. So. All right, Isis people, I hope that you guys just grow and flourish and bloom because you are, you have so much potential and the fact that you chose Isis lets me know that you want to grow and expand and be bigger than you are. And so do the work it takes so you can get there. Okay, now let us take a look at our stethoscope people. God, that is just one tough word for my tongue to get out, stethoscope. Oh, that was nicely done. Okay, so we're listening to your heart. Um, we're listening to how you breathe. We're paying attention to, uh, to you or to someone else, but you know, this certainly you can listen to yourself more clearly with this wonderful tool. All right, so how do you improve your life? Whoops. Okay. Oh, well, you're you're kind of ready. You're you're already there. Um, our first card up, we have Ten of Swords. Um, I'm working with the Couture Tarot, so it's very atypical. It doesn't go with like anything else. Um, but this is creating, a, you know, closure and looking at the end of a cycle in your life. And I feel like you are listening to your heart. You're listening to your soul and what you need to do to evolve. And, um, 
ending this cycle and being creating some tough closure here is really going to help you to catapult into that next level. So level up. Um, and we have to acknowledge, yeah, it's not the easiest thing to end something, but you know, this is 10 of swords. It's the lesser of the other two, as far as pain levels go. Um, so, you know, this kind of closure first level, you can get through this. I do feel like it's, it's a little sticky. It's a little prickly. It's a little uncomfortable. Um, but I also feel that you already know internally, it's something you need to do for yourself. Um, okay, and now secondary issue we're really looking at for you is that um, we've got Six of Wands in reverse. And one of the things you're really needing is more recognition. And so right now for you, it's finding something where you get that recognition, whether that's a relationship, a job, whatever the situation is. I know I left a good steady job at Banana Republic for a higher paying one in a really frou-frou store and, um, years ago. And the money was great, but I couldn't thrive because I didn't get um, the, the verbal recognition that I so desperately needed. And I actually really thrived in my environment at Banana Republic because they supported us emotionally so well at the location I was at. And so, um, you know, for you, I feel like you need recognition on a regular basis. It doesn't have, and maybe it is monetary, but it might be other things. And I think you have to get really clear for yourself how you need to be recognized and how that's gonna bring meaning into your life. Um, and if it's not gonna come from work, if it's gonna come from other areas, how are you gonna do that? Um, so, because I think that we all need that kind of support. It's just people need that in different ways. We have a, a, a business language that we work with. So that's part of that in listening to your heart. Oh, freaky weird. Okay, we just got King of Swords again in the same place, but this time I have it in reverse. And um, so, you know, as far as you kind of finding your strengths here, I feel like you've got some, you've got some stuff to work on as far as moving into leadership. Um, and this to me is more about self-discipline. It's about self-talk and believing in yourself. And so maybe some of that confidence building that we just saw in the Six of Wands is how you talk to yourself about it. Um, you know, I think one of the things for you is you probably would like better mentorship, but you also need to feel that you are growing and being challenged and that you're able to uh, bring new information in and enjoy that and absorb that. So I want you to find ways in which you can go about doing that. Um, but you've got to work a little bit more on communicating clearly and listening thoroughly and then also um, just collecting your thoughts before you speak them. Um, and when we think of King of Swords, to me, that is someone, he doesn't necessarily speak a ton, but he speaks with clarity and determination. And so it's like, okay, maybe talk less often, but be very succinct and make what you say important and relevant and not just a space filler. Um, so I, I know we all fall down that rabbit hole when we're uncomfortable too, in particular of talking too much. So that can, that's kind of coming up here for you. Um, okay, now, as far as outside influences um, that you can look for for help, um, I got nine of swords. You need more sleep. You need to decompress more. So if you're working more than one job, it might be more maximizing um, one job rather than doing two. Um, you know, doing the occasional overtime and get the, the pay and a half. Um, you need more quality sleep. If you're going out a lot, this is time to stop. Um, if you're smoking a lot of weed, because that one's coming up here, um, that also is clouding your judgment. And so uh, you need to be more present and focused in the time that you want to commit to yourself. Um, and it's not to say that these things aren't okay occasionally, 
but let's think about them maybe once a week on the weekend, that kind of thing. Um, if you're not sleeping well, get a power sleep once a week. Take, you know, um, it's okay to take like an herbal supplement, melatonin, uh, deep sleep, those are not addictive. They're, it's not like taking Ambien. It's more gentle, but things like a hot bath can be significant. Um, you know, if you have an achy body, taking some Advil before bed, just regular old Advil can help you sleep more deeply if you're tense all the time. Um, and some of us, people that are anxious, do tend to be tense. So, um, so yeah, for you, it's more about resting and unwinding, decompressing from your stress levels, um, being comfortable alone and in your own skin. Um, I feel like those are all some key elements for you. And part of this is all about working for that validation for yourself and finding that closure that you need. So, um, and all that comes from listening to you um, and what you need to hear from others as well. When we think about the stethoscope, you need he to hear some kind of positive reinforcement or feedback. And so just be open to ways that you can uh, create that in your life. Um, okay, let's take a look at our people who pick the couch or the sofa with um, the big curly arms. That is not popular right now, but I'm sure that your mom, your grandmother, somebody had a sofa like this because um, we rocked those out back in the day. Um, yeah, in fact, when I met my husband, he had a, a, a canvas colored sofa, slip covered sofa with big scrolling arms and a beautiful throw pillow and then a yellow gingham comfy chair. Um, yeah, I didn't know he's colorblind. I just thought maybe he was gay, <laughs> but he's not clearly. Um, so, but he had great, my husband has great taste. So yeah, he gave me this, which I love. Um, I just happened to have my microphone hooked on it today. So, okay, sofa people, let's see what we have for you. Oh, you are also at closure. That's so interesting when I do these readings and how much realigns. It's really cool. And I, if you hear the background noise, that is a good old rainstorm, um, which is the kind that we like to sleep to and snuggle down, but it is drab and dreary here today. Okay, so, um, so you've got death and uh, this is such a great death card because you know we don't really think about we don't see any skulls or anything creepy scary in here but again this is about closure and a little more intense than ten of swords was for our stethoscope people um but it's like knowing when really knowing when you need to be done with something it's not too soon it's not too late it's like okay it's my time to make some change so i can be more comfortable in my life so you need to work on closure and letting this situation go that you know, you already know what's holding you back. Now your secondary issue is the star in reverse. So there's this whole fear of like, what, what happens if I give this up? Am I giving away the love of my life? Um, you know, you've, you're getting, your brain has gone into this dark place um, of like freaking yourself out. So you're getting, you're going down the rabbit hole. And so um, emotionally, we've got to find a little more balance, a little bit of boundaries. Um, I, I feel like you, you talk yourself and it just gets worse and worse and worse. So you, I, I, I'm looking at this, you need a distraction. You need to like, break the routine when you see yourself or feel yourself going into the cycle instead of feeding into that cycle it's time for you to figure out how you're going to start having coping skills to get out of that cycle and so for me my quick fix back in the 90s was dollar theater and going to the movies nowadays i mean we've got netflix and hulu and hbo max and all that stuff uh, maybe it's going on YouTube, um, but I want you to think of a distraction. It could be walking the dog, um, getting kisses from your, your dog or cat. Um, 
Uh, it could be listening to a really positive podcast, but it, I want you to find things that will like help you turn your brain from that dark place into like, okay, I'm good. I just talked myself out of going down into a panic attack. Um, and I feel like that's been part of the tr trouble with all this here. These are some pivotal soul level issues that you're needing to move through right now. And so it is a very significant change. And you know, it's interesting to have the sofa because this is something you need to get comfortable with is this type of change. And I know it's, it's just not at this moment, but that's why you're here. So, um, okay. So what kind of strengths do you have to help yourself out of this right now? Um, we've got Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and I feel like you're a little bit frozen frozen here you're feeling a little underdeveloped um you know and and you honestly you flat out don't want to so um it's like oh no that would be too hard or oh no that would be too much work well are you going to stay depressed your whole life or are you going to get yourself um and disappointed or do you want to have some relevant some sense of being happy uh, and fulfilled and so you've got to push through this you've got to get super uncomfortable and no you're not gonna have perfect skills right now but that's how we get perfect skills is through uh, through messing up over and over and over again you know if you think about it like a science project um, like when Dyson created his vacuum 2,000 prototypes. He did that thing over 2,000 times. That is, okay, this didn't work, this didn't work, this didn't work, this is improving, but this still didn't fully work. This is how we learn and grow, and that's what I want you to start embracing, that you could become better than this, and that you are better than this already. Every time you're willing to try, every time you put one foot in front of the other mentally, you're evolving okay now um I, I i asked about outside influences for you where can you maybe get some help on this and we also have the world in reverse and so you've got three major arcanas here and you're really struggling with this change this growth and this evolution of your soul um because probably nobody showed you how and that's one of the really tough things is if we don't ever have anybody that did a better job than us that were our leaders like parents and grandparents if they weren't so great we have to find other mentors and resources and mentors you know they happen organically we never know when they're gonna pop in our life it can be a teacher it can be a friend it's usually someone who's got a little more life experience than we do um, and we just think man they they seem to do it right so much of the time um, and I feel like you're in this rut you don't know where to look for help you're not sure how to get help and and honestly some of you might even be looking at feeling suicidal as I look at this and this is a horrible place to be um, you know we've all been not all of us I guess I've certainly been to that point of wanting to die multiple times in my life um, and I tried you know had my been to the hospital had my stomach pumped all that um, you know <sighs> But there were multiple, multiple times of dealing with difficulties. And at the end of the day, you know, I, I will say some of this is connected to youth. And the older we get, the better our life gets. We get better skills. And so if you're a teen, if you're in your early 20s, your life will get better than this. Um, it's just, uh, to me, like especially 18 to 25, really hard years. We're trying to define who we are without our parents telling us what to do. And it's it's a very tough battle. And you have got to find your inner strength that you are worth it, that you believe in yourself. And I want you to look into resources, perhaps like, um, perhaps it's a shelter of some kind. 
Perhaps it's um, got some kind of counseling that comes with it. You know, even if you don't have money, see, Google what's out there for free. There are things. Um, but I feel like you really are in desperate times for some help. And I, I can tell you what I see, but I know you need more than this. And so I want you to figure out, begin to seek that out. Um, and don't even be afraid to just go to the library and start looking at a book on how to move past depression or something. Those kinds of things, you never know what's gonna trigger and it's gonna say, ah, oh, this speaks my language. And I'll tell you, what spoke my language at in my 30s is a different language than what I need now. So you will change, you will evolve, and you'll also see that you need something more. Um, you're welcome to look on my website. I have a list, it just says Goodreads or Reads on there. It's just books that I've read that have influenced me. and that might be helpful for you as well. And that's tarotdallas.com. Um, all right, everyone. So that is our readings for today. I do hope that helped. I know that's that last one was in particular really intense. And um, I hope that you can find the guidance and support that you need. And also that you can tap into yourself and knowing that your soul is so perfect, no matter what else happens. And we are half soul and we are half ego. And that ego is just never gonna be satisfied. So all that negative talk, that is the ego. That, those are the programs and the recordings that we've been given, that we've turned on ourselves. But your soul is perfect. And if you honor your soul and you listen to that and you do the right thing most of the time, you're gonna see a change and you can evolve. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys again next week. Take care for now. Bye.